the series of examples levels 5 to 10 are problems on plane truss solved by purely method of joints although we're supposed to solve this by method of sections but let's just accept the challenge that we should solve this by method of joints and this is part two so for the first problem level five determine the force in each member of the truss indicate if the force is tension or compression note the presence of any zero force members so here uh, we can solve this without solving the reactions but but we need to compute the reactions in order to check our answers later so we have rd because this is a rocker and we have eh rd equals eh by summing up forces horizontal later so summation forces vertical considering the whole system vertical component of reaction at a is 5 kilonewtons upward equals downward so that's obviously 5 then we begin by uh, s noting that at joint d we have collinear forces and this is the only unique uh, force which is oblique to these two collinear forces so therefore this falls in case two for zero force member that's why force in AD is zero. So we now have an answer that force in AD is zero. So the angle here is arctan of one meter over one because three minus two is one also. So that's 45 degrees. So we begin at, while this angle is arctan of one over two, so 26.565. So considering the whole system, summation moment A equals zero or moment A is zero to solve for RD, so counterclockwise positive RD times one equals RD times one minus five times three. So RD equals 15 kilonewtons rightward. Therefore, summation forces horizontal AH is 15 kilonewtons leftward. So we begin at joint B, summation forces to get rid of simultaneous equation, summation forces vertical zero or R, RB vertical equals zero at joint B, downward positive. So RB vertical equals zero, downward positive. So we have equals five, downward. Then the vertical component of FBC is plus FBC sine of 45 because we consider downward as positive. So from there, we can compute FBC, which is negative 5 over sine 45. And therefore, it is negative 7.07 .07 kilonewtons. Because it is negative, FBC is a compression member. Then summation forces or RB horizontal equals 0. Considering leftward positive, so we have FAB. Then plus, take note, this is negative, but it is to the left. So we cons we take the sign, so plus negative 7.071 cosine of 45. That's the horizontal component of FBC. So FAB is positive. It is tension, 5 kilonewtons tension. Then we proceed to joint C. And put the value. This is FCD and this is FAC. We name the member in alphabetical order. So to get rid of simultaneous equations again, RC vertical equals zero, and that consists of FAC sine 26.565 plus negative 7.071 uh, sine of 45. It is upward, but its sign is negative, so negative 7.071 sine 45 plus FAC sign of 26.565. So FAC is positive, 7.071 sine 45 or sine 26.565, and that is 11.18 kilonewtons tension. Then RC horizontal equals zero. 
then right toward positive so we have equals negative 7.071 cosine of 45 the horizontal component of negative 7.071 then minus 11.18 cosine 26.565 then minus fcd and from there we can solve fcd which is negative 15.00 kilonewton so therefore fcd is a compression member 15 kilonewtons compression. Then we now check the joint because this is negative 15 compression. So checking this is 11.18 angle 26.565 and the force in AB is 5 kilonewtons tension. So let's check joint D. RD, which is RDH0, since RD is 15, rightward plus negative 15 equals 0. So that's okay. And let's check joint A. RAH equals 5. Uh, AH is negative 15, then plus 5, plus 11.18 cosine 26.565. The result is 0, so... That means the horizontal component of the resultant at A is zero, so that is in equilibrium. Then RA vertical, if it is zero also. So we have five upward, then minus 11.18 sine 26.565. Since this is zero, so no more. And the result is almost zero, so that's okay. So that means our answers are correct. Calculate the force in each member of the loaded truss. So here is the given figure. So first, let's compute for the reactions. Call that RA. This is 2 kN by summing up forces horizontal. Then the vertical reaction, let's call that C sub V. So this angle is 45 degrees, arc tan of 3 over 3. So let's begin at joint A. To get rid of simultaneous equation, R A vertical equals 0. Or moment C is 0 to solve for R A first. Clockwise positive. So we have R A equals R A times 6 minus 2 times 3. So therefore R A is 1 kilonewtons upward. Summation forces vertical. So C sub V is 1 kilonewtons downward. Then at A, R, A vertical equals 0, equals F, A, B sine 45. Then plus R, A, which is 1. So F, A, E is negative and it is compression. Negative 1 over sine 45 is negative 1.414 kilonewtons or positive 1.414 kilonewtons compression. Then R, A horizontal equals 0. So we have equals F, A, B plus FAE, which is negative 1.414 cosine of 45, the horizontal component. Then FAB is positive 1 kilonewtons, so tension. Then we proceed to joint E. Let's put the value. To get rid of simultaneous equations again, uh, let's have uh, we can have REH0. REH0. And it is equal to FDE. FDE. Then minus negative 1.414 cosine of 45. Cosine or sine, that's the same, but this is 45 degrees from the horizontal. So FDE is negative. Negative 1 or 1 kN compression because it is negative. Then RE vertical equals 0, this time downward positive. So FBE, we treat this positive downward. Then plus negative 1.414 sine of uh, 45 because this is 45. So it is plus but we take the sign. So therefore FBE is positive. 
positive 1 kilonewton, so it is tension because it is positive. Then we proceed to joint B. We put the value. This angle is 45 also, arctan of 3 over 3. Then we have FBC and FBD. So first, RB vertical equals 0 to get rid of simultaneous equation. So vertical component of FBD is FBD sine 45, then plus 1. Then FBD is negative 1 over sine 45, so it is compression. It is 1.414 kilonewtons compression. Then RB horizontal equals 0. So we have FBC equals FBC plus negative 1.414 cosine of 45. Then minus FAB and FAB is 1. So minus 1. So therefore FBC is positive. 2 kilonewtons, so it is positive, so it is tension. Then we check the joint. So obviously at C, R horizontal is 0. This is in equilibrium horizontally because 2 minus 2 is 0. Vertically, because C sub V is 1, then FCD is positive 1. So therefore, FCD is 1 kilonewtons tension. Then we check joint D. This is negative 1, FDE, compression. So checking this RD horizontal, if it is 0, equals uh, leftward positive. So 2, then plus 2 minus 1, because leftward is positive, minus 1.414 cosine of 45 then it is equal to 0 so that's okay vertically downward positive rd vertical downward positive is 1 this is positive 1 then plus negative 1.414 sine of 45 and it is almost 0 also so okay so we have checked that the last two joints are in equilibrium therefore these answers are correct Calculate the forces in members AB, BH, and BG. Members BF and CG are cables which can support tension only. So these diagonal members can are made of cables, so therefore they can support tension only. If they are in compression, automatic zero because if you compress the the cable, it will it cannot resist compression, so it is automatic zero. So let's put the reactions, RA, then since no horizontal load, therefore the reaction at D will only be vertical also. Horizontal reaction would be zero. So first moment at D zero to solve for RA. So clockwise positive, so we have equals RA times nine, minus four times six, minus 6 times 3. Then we can solve RA, 4 times 6 plus 6 times 3 over 9. In decimal, 4.667 kilonewtons. So we, if this is 4.667 kilonewtons, if we cut this section here, minus 4, so there is still an upward force of 0.667. So therefore, the, the shear in this panel here must be 0.667 to balance because this is 4.667 minus 4 minus 0.667 to make it 0. So therefore for these diagonal members this should be in the same direction as 0.667 so it is down the, ver the component the force here should be tension away from the joint so that's a tension member there's a value there but this member here should also be downward the component should be downward so this must be in compression because this is made of cable therefore its force is zero because this must be in compression so let's begin at joint a these are the forces fab and fah although fab is required 
we need FEH to solve for FBH later. So to get rid of simultaneous equation, first RA vertical equals zero. So we have RA, which is 4.667, then minus vertical component of FEH, FEH sine 60, minus FEH sine of 60 degrees. Nothing more. So therefore, FEH is positive, 4.67 over sine 60. It is a tension member, 5.389 kilonewtons. Then RA horizontal equals zero, or summation forces horizontal equals zero. Then we have FAB, then plus horizontal component of FAH, which is 5.389 cosine of 60 degrees. So therefore, FAB is negative, and it is a compression force at 5.389 cosine 60, 2.694 kilonewtons compression. So BH and BG left. But we can analyze BG because this is zero. This reduces to three forces. Two are collinear and BG is oblique. Therefore, by case two of zero force member, FBG is zero. So we answer that FBG is zero. And FBG is zero. Because if you look at joint G, remove this member because it is anyway that is zero there are three forces hg and gf are collinear and bg is the only member that is oblique from this lines of action of these two collinear members so it falls in case two for identifying zero force members therefore fbg is zero that's why fbg is zero so we have fbh left at joint h Summation or RH vertical equals zero. So vertical component of FBH is FBH sine 60. Then this is FEH, the vertical component is 5.389 because this is also 60, so times sine 60. Cancel sine 60. Therefore, FBH is negative 5.389 or 5.89 compression kilonewtons. So we answered all the three required member forces. Calculate the forces in members CF, CG, and EF of the loaded truss. So here is the truss. If you have a cursory look, you look at joint E. There is no need to compute the support reactions. If you look at joint E, there are two members only meeting at joint E, so two forces. Therefore, this falls in case one of identifying zero force members. So members DE and EF are zero force members. So therefore, we answered force in member EF equal to zero. Then we, proce we proceed to joint D because there are only two unknown forces here. These are the forces. This angle here is the measure of this angle here is arctan of 13 over 10, and that is 52.41 degrees. To get rid of simultaneous equation, some, some R D horizontal first equals zero. The horizontal component of resultant force at D must be zero. So 2000 equals 2000 minus horizontal component of FDF is FDF sine of 52.41 sign of this angle so FDF is positive 2523.28 pounds then we need FCD for calculating FCG later so let's solve for FDG summation for or RD vertical equals zero downward positive so equals FCD then plus vertical component of FDF is 25 plus 2523.28 cosine of 52.41 degrees no more so FCD is negative it is a compression member negative 1538.49 pounds 
Then we proceed to join F. We cannot proceed to join C. There are three unknowns here, CF, CG, and DC. So that's why we cannot proceed to join uh, C. So join F first. These are the forces. So we need the angles. Remember that DF makes an angle with a vertical of 50.431. And we only need the angle here that FG makes with the horizontal. So that's the force in DF. So this angle here is we need the vertical distance is 30, 10 times 3. We need the horizontal distance. So 10, 13, 16. So meaning to say it is increasing by 3. So we expect that this is 19. If we draw vertical line through B, the distance from here to this joint here, H is 19 feet. So that's 19. So meaning to say, the horizontal distance here is 19 minus 10, so 9. The vertical distance is 30, 10 times 3. So this angle, which is equal to this angle, is arctan of 30 over 9. Use your calculator. Arctan of 30 over 9 is 73.31 degrees. So that's 73.31 degrees. At joint F, this is F, F, G, so R, F, vertical equals zero first to get rid of simultaneous equation. So 2523.28 cosine of 52.41, the vertical component, then minus F, F, G, sine of 73.301, the vertical component of F, F, G, then no more. Then we can solve FFG positive 1606.22 pounds. Then RF horizontal equals zero. So we have FCF rightward plus 2523.28 uh, sine of 52.41, the horizontal component of this uh, force, which is time sine of 52.41. Then minus, because this is leftward, minus 1606.22 cosine of 73.31. The horizontal component of FFG is to the left, so minus. And from there, we can solve FCF 1606.22 cosine 73.31 minus 2523.28 sine of 52.41. So FCF is equal to, because it is negative, so it is 15.38 pounds compression. Then we proceed to joint C. These are the forces involved. There are the, um, two unknowns only, BC and GC. So we can solve for force in CG if we set RC horizontal equals zero. And this angle, the measure of this angle is arctan of 16 over 10. We have a right triangle, opposite is 16, adjacent is 10. So 57.995. So RC horizontal equals zero, so we have 2000, positive equals 2000. Then minus an FCF, which is negative 1538, it is to the left, but its sign is negative, so minus negative 1538. Then minus FCG sine of 57.995. The horizontal component of FCG is leftward, so that's why it's minus FCG sine opposite of 57.995. So from here we can solve FCG. FCG is 2000 plus 1538 divided by sine 57.995. It is positive. So 4,172 pounds tension.
Level 9, determine the forces in members A, B, B, I, and C, I of the simple truss. So we have a curved portion of the members, but don't be surprised. Remember that truss members are two force bodies. Therefore, the force on A, I, although it is curved, is pointing towards I. At the same time, the force at I is pointing towards A. Same is true with I and H and H and I. But we need the angles that AI makes with the horizontal as well as IH with the horizontal. So we have an arc radius of 50 meters here. And we have 20 meters here. And this horizontal distance, so we can analyze the angles as follows. So by symmetry of the loadings, the, the total load is 4L and the loadings are symmetrically applied. Therefore, the vertical reaction should be 2L, half of 4L. This is also 2L. Though there is no horizontal reaction at F, at A there is supposedly, but because the loadings are vertical, then AH is 0. <coughs> so this is point A, I, and H. The radius is, the center of curvature is here. The radius is 50. So 50-50. The distance, horizontal distance between I and H is 15 plus half of 20, 10, so 25. That's 25 meters. Then therefore, because this is horizontal and this is vertical, uh, we can compute for this angle, but what we need is this vertical distance. This is 15, and let's just call that vertical distance later. This is also 50 meters. So, this is the force in AI directed from A to I, and vice versa. We always assume tension members, as well as FIH and FHI the same. And we need to compute that angle later. This is FAB. Then, because at joint B, at joint B, we have collinear members, summation forces vertical, force in BI, which is also required here, minus L equals zero. So FBI is obviously L. So we now have an answer, FBI equals L while it is part of the question. Tension, of course. So this distance is square root, we have a right triangle here, square root of 50 square minus 25 square, and that is 25 square root of 3. So this is 40 meters horizontal. Theta i, therefore, theta a i, therefore, is 41.565 degrees. How is 41.565 degrees obtained? Arctan of this angle, of this distance over 15, where this distance is equal to 25 square root of 3 minus 30, because this is 50 meters. 15 plus 25 is 40 meters. Therefore, this is square root of 50 square minus 40 square, that is 30 meters. And theta AI, therefore, arctan of this distance, use your calculator there, arctan of quantity 25 square root of 3 minus 30, this vertical distance, 25 square root of 3 minus 30, divided by 15. So you'll get 41.565 degrees. 41.565 degrees. Later, the angle between IH is this distance, vertical distance is 50 minus 25 square root of 3 divided by 25 later. So RA vertical equals 0 to solve for the force in AI. So FAI sine of 41.565 plus 2L plus 2L equals 0. So you'll get FEI, which is negative. 2L over sine 41.565 is negative 3.0144L. Then RA horizontal equals 0. So equals FAB 
plus FAI, which is quantity negative 3.0144L cosine of 41.565 degrees. So those are the only forces involved. Then we can solve FAB, which is positive. It is tension. It is 2.255L tension. Then we need to analyze this angle here. Theta IH. Theta IH is arctan. Again, use your calculator there. Arctan of 50 minus 25 square root of 3. This vertical distance here over 25. So theta IH is 15 degrees. So let's transfer it there. Then because we proceed to join I, in a way we have found BI, which is L. There are only two unknowns here. FIH and FCI. So this angle here, B and I, is this distance. So arctan of 15 over distance BI, which is this distance. So use your calculator there. Arctan of 15 over distance BI. Distance BI is 25 square root of 3 minus 30. So arctan of 15 divided by quantity 25 square root of 3 minus 30. The measure of the angle is 48.45, this angle here from the vertical of CI. So therefore, at joint I, uh, there are two unknowns. So let's set our IH0 first. So we have FIH cosine 15 degrees, then plus FCI sine of 48.45, the horizontal component of CI, FCI. FCI sine of 48.45, opposite of angle. Then minus F, minus FAI, so minus negative of 3.0144L cosine of 41.565. The angle it makes with the horizontal is 41.565. So that's why we multiply 41.565. Simplifying, FIH cosine 15 plus FCI sine 48.45 equals negative because this, beca this, is, this is negative when transposed to the left. Negative 2.2554L. Call that equation 1. Then Ri vertical equals 0. So FIH sine 15 minus FCI cosine of 48.45 vertical component minus negative 3 point minus negative 3.0144 L sine 41.465 then minus L. We have L here for BI. So simplifying, FIH sine 15 degrees minus FCI cosine 48.45 degrees equals negative L. Call that equation 2. So solving equations 1 and 2 by substitution or by elimination or whatever uh, convenient method you want to apply, you'll get, we need only FCI. So FCI is equal to 0.4580L and it is positive so it is tension. So that's it for this problem. So this is the last problem for this part. Determine the force in members DG of the plane truss shown below by the method of joints. So first uh, reaction at A, horizontally, 30 kN, obviously, summation force is horizontal. We don't need the vertical reaction at A, we, we need only vertical reaction at D, so that we can proceed to joint D later, then finally we want to solve for the force in member DG. So these are the vertical reactions. So moment A0, counterclockwise positive, so it is equal to RE times 16, then minus 30 times 2 plus 6 is 8. So R sub E is equal to 15 kilonewtons. So the angle here that GE or EG makes with the horizontal is 
G E F G E G rather. Arctan of six over eight, so that's thirty six point eighty seven degrees arctan of six over eight. While the angle that D E makes with the vertical is arctan of four over eight. 2 plus 6 is 8, so that's 26.565. Arctan of 4 meters over 8, 26.565. So the forces are assumed to be tension always. So first, RE horizontal 0, leftward positive because there's no rightward. Let's make leftward positive. Let's begin with REG, cosine of 36. FEG rather, cosine of 36.87. Then plus, because this is also leftward, RDE sine of 26.565 degrees. So expressing FEG in terms of FDE, because we need FDE, because we proceed to joint D later. So FEG is negative uh, sine of 26.565 over cosine 36.87. So FEG is negative. 0 0.5590 of FDE. Then RE vertical equals 0. So we have FEG sine 36.87 plus FDE cosine of 26.565 degrees plus 15. So that's the equation. Then we replace FEG by negative 0 0.5590 FDE to solve for FDE. Time sine 36.87 plus FDE cosine of 26.565 plus 15. So from there, we can now solve FDE using your calculator. So FDE is negative 26.832 kilonewtons. So we then proceed to joint D. And of course, the angles are needed. So remember that this is also 26.565. The angle that that CD makes with the vertical is arctan of 4 meters over 2. Same is true with this angle here, arctan of 4 over 2. And that is 63.454 degrees. 63.435 degrees. 63.435 degrees. So... First, R, D, horizontal equals 0. So, F, D, D, E is rightward, but its sign is negative. So, equals negative 26.832 sine of 26.565. Then, minus F, C, D, sine of 63.435. Minus FDG sine of 63.45 degrees. So simplifying, transpose this to the left. FCD, so it is negative 26.832 sine 26.565 divided by sine 63.45. So FCD plus FDG equals negative 13.416. So call that equation 1. Then RD vertical equals 0. So we have FCD cosine of 63.435. Then minus FDG cosine of 63.45. Minus FDE. So minus quantity negative 26.832 cosine of 26.565 degrees. So simplifying, FCD minus FDG equals negative 53.664. So it is negative 26.832 cosine 26.565 divided by cosine 63.45. So from here, we express FCD as FDG minus 53.664. Then substitute into equation 1 for FCD. FDG minus 53.664 plus FDG equals negative 13.416. Finally, FDG is 53.664 to the right 
minus 13.416 divided by 2. So it is positive, it is tension. FDG is equal to 20.12 kilonewtons tension. So that's it for this problem. So it seems that the problems are already challenging much more for levels 11 to something. So 11, we apply method of joints, then 12 and so on would be, it's up to us. We, I will also introduce method of sections.